Hello guys, Vittorio here and if you still haven't subscribed to the channel, well do it because every day there's gonna be a new video about football and Serie A in particular. So if you like Serie A, well this is your channel. Hit the subscribe button and the bell so you will get a notification every time I upload a new video. Today I want to talk about our big friend Wallace Dos Santos, Wallace Fortuna, Lazio defender, who had an amazing match against Atalanta last Sunday. Two big mistakes and one own goal. I think everybody by now realize that Wallace is a terrible defender or at least is not a defender for a Champions League team like Lazio or a team that is fighting for the Champions League it should be better said but there's something weird about Wallace because he was probably one of the few signing Lazio made in the Lotito era that came from a big team because if you remember uh, Lazio bought Wallace from Monaco that if you know Ligan, it's a good team about in Ligan in the French league. In particular, in that year, uh, Monaco was fighting for the for the league title and was playing in the Champions League. In fact, if you go and check, Wallace have played the qualifying match for the Champions League and all the group phase of the Champions League with Monaco. So how can it be possible? Wallace was good in France and bad when he came in Rome. No, it was still Wallace, uh, the same player we see now. We see now in Rome. So. How can it be possible that Wallace, even if it's that bad, was able to play for Monaco, uh, Lazio? Good teams, we have to admit. Very good team, for his, especially for his level. Well, the secret is Mendes. Mendes, the agent of Cristiano Ronaldo, is as well the agent of Wallace. And in the modern football, if you have a big, potent agent, powerful agent, then you can have a very good career even if you're not a very good football player and Wallace is the example but there are other examples Mendes is so powerful that he can place he play his players in big teams even though they don't deserve to be there the other thing is Wallace was on loan to Monaco he came from Braga and this Portuguese team has a tight relationship with Mendes he's able to link a lot of players there and then send them around in Europe and this is pretty much what happened with uh, with Wallace. You know, he went in France, didn't work out, and then he went to Lazio, who bought it for something like 5 million euros. If you remember, a lot of people were saying, well, Wallace has international experience, he's played in, played in a big club, he should be a good signing for Lazio. And turned out to not be a good signing. Now, probably this summer, Wallace would leave, leave Rome, and I'm pretty sure that Mendes will be able to, to find a nice spot, a nice team for, for the player again because he's so powerful that maybe he'll find a new team in Spain, in Germany, in England or France that, or in Russia maybe, that is interested in the player and a big team we're talking about. We're not talking about SPAL, you know. So this is because Mendes is so powerful that it's able to, to find good clubs for his, his players. And in modern football, this is how it works, unfortunately. You see a Sherby that is a very good defender that was able to find a big team like Lazio only when he was he's past his 30 because he didn't have a good agent like Mendes and this is the football of the modern age if you have a very good agent then you are able to to play for big teams and things like that which is not really nice right but this is why Wallace is uh, has played in big teams take the example of Keita Keita when he was in Lazio he was a great player one of the most promising players in Serie A. His agent, Calenda, who's not very big, uh, decided that he had to leave Lazio. And Lats Mendes placed him in uh, Monaco. You remember, there were rumors that Mendes was selling the player. And that's what happened. He went to Monaco, Keita went to Monaco, it didn't work out. Now he's on loan in Inter, where he's not playing. He's bench on the bench. And Inter won't renew, won't sign the player. He's going to go back to France. And this is what can happen. Don't tell me Keita is not a very good player. I think he's a big talent. But his agent ruined his career. If Keita had Mendes for, as his agent, probably he would be playing in Liverpool or, I don't know, uh, Tottenham, Arsenal. Because he's that type of player. But Kalenda is not Mendes. So this is how things work out in modern football. Do you agree with me? Write in a comment. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do. And remember, Laziale, what else?